Now, the big breaking news is that England have confirmed their 11 for the first test match of the summer, the first test of the new Brendan McCullum, Ben Stokes era against New Zealand tomorrow at Lords. And I can tell you that the 11 is, I'll go through it from 1 to 11 for everyone. Alex Lees and Zach Crawley will be opening the batting. Uh, no surprise there because they were the two openers in the side. Both, both of them perhaps under a bit of pressure, though, need to score some runs uh, at the start of the McCullum era just to. to confirm their places in the side. Ollie Pope is going to bat at number three. He's never batted at number three in first-class cricket before for Surrey. He's batted at four or below, so a huge test for him. Joe Root moves down to number four, his first test match not being the captain of the England side. Big question mark over number five, but it's been confirmed. Johnny Bairstow will keep his place. He's in good form, 200s in his last four test matches. So it means the in-form Harry Brook has to wait to make his debut. Uh, ben Stokes will bat number six, the new captain, Ben and folks, wicket-keeping at number seven. There was some speculation maybe Bairstow could take the gloves uh, and that will uh, enable Brook to play, but that's not happened. Then we've got a very long tail, haven't we, here? Because Matt Potts is probably going to bat number eight. He's only got 250s in first-class cricket. But the excitement is when he gets a ball in his hand. He's the leading wicket-taker in the county championship this year, the young Durham paceman. Can't wait to see how he goes. Uh, one spin option in Jack Leach. So they've resisted the temptation to go with four seamers. So Craig Overton doesn't play. And then, of course, Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson back in the 11. Uh, it's going to be fascinating to see how they go. They'll have a point to prove.